Hi, I'm Diana. I'm glad you're with me today. I am so excited about the subject matter today. We are going to talk about Imagineering. Every one of us has the potential to imagine great things, to envision great things. In fact, the scripture says in Proverbs, without a vision or without imagination, the people perish. So we're going to talk about two different people in the Bible today that imagined and were accomplishing their goals. One did it uh, in a selfish way, one group of people, but the other did it based on the word of the Lord. And we are the product of that imagineering today. So I want to uh, say first what imagine means. Imagine means to form a mental picture or to think. Engineering, we all have the potential to be an engineer. An engineer uh, uses insights to conceive, model, and scale a solution to a problem or an objective. So our objective is to have the dreams, the visions, the purposes, the plans that God has for us. So in Genesis 11:3, there were a group of people and uh, they decided, uh, according to the words written in the Bible, they said, come, let us build a tower uh, that will reach to the heavens and make a name for ourselves. And you know, the Lord saw that. And this is the word that the Lord said. He came down and he said, this people are one people and nothing that they imagine to do will be impossible to them. Well, they did not get to finish their uh, building because it was for so many selfish reasons. But there was another man named Abraham. And of course, the Bible says that we are Abraham's seed and we're heir according to the promise. And God told Abraham, he said, Abraham, I have found a man of faith, a man who will believe my promises, and I am going to make you the father of many nations. And he told Abraham, he said, Abraham, I want you to go outside of your tent and I want you to look up and I want you to count the stars. And if you can count them, that's how many children you're going to have. God wanted him to have a vision, to see a picture, and to form an objective of what he had in store for him. So you know what? God has the same thing for you. I remember many years ago, I was, I was traveling to work. I used to work near an airport, and I used to see jets flying over, and I used to imagine myself flying in those jets, going and enjoying the world, the creation that God had made for His people, and preaching the Word. And, uh, you know, at that particular time, it did not seem like something that could come to pass. But in my dreams and in my desire to experience what God said He had for us, it did come to pass. So I want to just encourage you today. You have the ability to imagineer a change in your health, a change in your living environment, a change in your work conditions. You need to take time and just uh, say, Lord, show me the blessings that you have for me in my life. Help me to dream the dream, to imagine uh, what you have in store, and then take time to write it down, and then you decree it with your words. I've seen it happen in my life so many times. As I said, that vision that I had to be able to do something for the Lord, to be able to travel. Um, at that time, it seemed it wasn't possible, but I have enjoyed many, many days of being able to do the very thing that I imagineered. I thank you for watching today, and I would encourage you, if you've been blessed, that you would forward this link to your family and friends, and do take time to sit down and just make a mental picture. Remember, an engineer makes a mental picture of what they want, and I believe in Jesus' name it will come to pass. Thank you.